In this video, we're going to look at how we're going to use the template page to create the four pages that we need for this website or microsite as described in the exam paper. So what we're going to do is because this is saved now, I'm going to cross this off because it's the easiest way to do this. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to go into my folder. Now, if you go to um, your web pages folder, you'll see that you only have the templates and the easiest way to do it, uh, to make uh, the pages from this template is to simply right click copy and then paste three times sorry four times because there are four pages now if you're using the school computer you may not be able to have the right click feature um, you may not have access to that uh, as in some schools they are disabled um, if if it's not disabled just right click and copy and then right click and paste and this says copy there but you're going to change this to home page Okay, and if it doesn't work, then all you gotta do is go to organize here instead and just go to copy and then click away, organize and paste, and does exactly the same thing. And again, you need to click inside and change the name. Now, if it doesn't change, if it didn't click like that and doesn't allow you to change it, you just gotta to, got to go to organize and go to rename. Same thing. So, we're gonna need one for music page. And we also need uh, one for DJ. Ooh, click inside, that would help. DJ page. And the last one is merchandise. Even though we don't have the button for it, as you may or may not rem remember, we need it linked from the home page. So we're going to be merchandise page. There we go. Uh, make sure it's spelt correctly. So I'm going to do that as well. Make sure it's spelt exactly how they said. Yes, perfect. So we've got the template and we've got the other four pages. Now, when I open these items, these pages, at the moment, there won't be any differences whatsoever because we've just copied them. Um, but that's a good thing because we want that consistency. Consistency. So you can see music page there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all of them. So I'm going to click, double click on DJ page, let that load, home page, let that load and merchandise page so we're not going to use a template page anymore that's been used we have the style and you can see that there are four pages here so i'm going to rearrange this i'm going to put the home page there music dj merchandise um yeah and we'll leave it at that for now now the first thing i'm going to do is we need a title for each page so i'm going to type it in here this being the home page simply put home page or welcome to the home page okay um and then we're going to save so don't lose anything music page same thing keep it consistent so we're going to say music page say music page if you're going to have welcome do welcome uh, but keep it consistent welcome to the music page and file and save dj page same thing welcome to the dj page Save, just use a shortcut instead, control S, and last one. Welcome to the merchandise page. Control S, saves. So now we have a title for each page. They're all the same consistency, same style, same font, and in the same spot. So if we look here, you'll see it says, include a suitable title on each page, and I believe that's suitable. It relates to the page content, which it will do, because it's, the same, it's, it's talking basically what the page is going to be about. And if you look up here as well, consistent design. So some of these go back and forwards because they are interrelated. So you have to look at it holistically from a, you know, from a, um, from a distance. So the grand scheme of things. So you can see now that they are very much the same company, same web page, the different same same website or microsite. So what we're going to do is out, we're going to go through each one and start filling it in with information that we think is appropriate for the pages that we look at. Um, using this as a checklist again, um, you can see that it says we need to have. A banner, we've done that, we've done that, we've done this here at the top, here we go. 
the four pages we just created them no scrolling which is fine so far we'll have to do we'll have to keep looking at the scrolling issue as we insert other items inside the information that we need to throw in needs to go in now which we're going to do uh, in just some, a few moments in fact let's start that um now let's do the information now so the information um is in the assets folder and it's in the text and it's information here so we're going to open this up and you're going to sift through this information here and decide what should go where now this is really down to you and this is another element that you will be marked on and assessed on your ability to use your initiative and draw information out from this that you think is suitable um, for whichever page that you basically look at. Now, if it's not suitable, you will lose marks. So you have to be careful about what information you can see here. Look out for the keywords. Now, look here. Looking back at here, you'll see it says that the text may be edited. So you're allowed to add to it if you feel necessary. And you're allowed to change the font and the way it looks. So this part will take some time. I'm not going to show you... Uh, the whole process, but I will show some items uh, just so you understand the actual um, format or the method behind it. So this is one section. So, so impromptu, and you have to read through this, by, by the way, to understand it. Impromptu is a pop-up music shop. We will appear on Crawdale High Street for three days, the pop-up store for music lovers. Don't miss us. And that's the address. Email address, open, and, and then this is obviously talking about something else. So more than likely... This is one section because it's, inf it's information about who they are, what they're about, when they're open, the address, and so on and so forth. So we're going to copy this, or if you want to, cut it, and put it into your home page. It doesn't make sense to have it in the music page, or the DJ page, or the merchandise page. So we're going to put it in the home page. And it's up to you where you, you want to put it. Now, you'll notice that my center line here is more to the left. Now, you are allowed to move this around. And you could very easily, if you want to do, uh, put the text on this side instead. So I'm going to right click and paste. There we go. And you'll notice that the text, f because I've uh, assigned the format main body from early on, is exactly how I expected it, how I wanted it to be. Um, if you want to make changes to it, you're, you are allowed to. And you are allowed to drag this in and obviously move this up again. But you have to be mindful about when you make these changes, then you will have to look at the height of your website, the table itself. So you will have to drag this back down again to that exact position as it was before so that we don't have any inconsistencies in terms of it uh, moving up and down as you scroll through or navigate through your website. Um, you will notice also that, well, it may not be that you know, that first paragraph that we just copied and pasted into the home page. Um, it may not be that um, that's it, you know, that there isn't any more information here for the home page. It may be that you have to go back and forwards. So you can see that the record one, two, and three was mentioned in the exam paper, specifically in this section here where it talks about the playlist. Um, here it is. So we know that we'll go into the... Um, music page now we can't use that yet purely because we have to put something in there so we're going to leave that section of text for later on um this information talking about jazz is obviously talking about one of these there it is jazz resource so this whole section here you can see there are separate parts that goes into here which means all of this will go into the music page so we're not going to touch that just yet because we need to add something to that before we can move further with that section so then we read, read the next part and see okay where can I put this, where can I put that, and read through each section and find where they go. You might find other elements that will go somewhere, okay? Um, now, this will take some time. So I'm not going to show you how to do each individual one. You are going to have to spend some time to go through each section, each paragraph, each sentence, and decide where they will, copy them, be, will be copied and pasted into. But before I move on uh, any further, I will show you one little trick one little tip here um, now 
because we have a bit more space you could afford to make this size uh, larger there's nothing wrong with changing it if you have to afterwards just remember though that if i'm going to change the size 12 here to a size 14 then i should change these as well to size 14 as well to just to keep the consistency so just try not to make sh uh, try not to have different font sizes in every single page try to keep the same style font color and size and um, what i would what i will show you is this email here now since it's an email it'd be nice if we had a link from there as well um i know it doesn't say that in the exam paper but it's implied it's a it's an email and it's a we're, we're creating a website so it makes sense that if you see an email that when you click it it should go to an email link now yes we're going to have another email link later on uh, as mentioned here in the merchandise page uh, but since this is a different email we're going to have a different one so we're going to copy this so right select it edit and copy and then we're going to insert an email link which is here and we're just going to paste it in and it, lo and behold is basically copied in already and you just press ok and that turns into an email link okay so for this uh, for the rest of this video what you need to do for the rest of this uh, tutorial this session you need to go through each page uh, perhaps leave music page for now um, and just copy and paste the text that you think you should basically have in there now don't worry for uh, for now where they go because you can move them around afterwards but you need to have them in there so you know what you're playing with okay